Someone's listed it for 850. <laughs> Surely not. There's no way we just found that. So that's what we're dealing with today. When you get a bit of rain, it always drives people away. They don't want to come and sell because they don't think anyone's going to turn up. But there's some, there's some buyers here, that's for sure. He's cool. Yeah. Nineteen ninety seven. Oh, this is cool. It's an ash. Oh, is it? Oh, that's rad. Team Rocket. Tommy. Ash and Team Rocket. Tens on those. I think that would be yes, mate. Grab those. Yeah, no. 20 bucks. Yeah, this one's 90, but sold 480, so. 180. Yeah, this is phase one to get a look at them. They're good, eh? Yeah, wow. Way under price. Did you Google him till you know what he's worth? Nope. Okay. You didn't? No. Nah. Should've. Should've. Should I? No. She wants 50 because it sells for 150. Goes 150? So yeah, okay. 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 Um, and that one, how much is that one? Did you go 50 both? 55. 55? Alright. Five. Five. No, go for it, mate. All yours. There you go. Thank you very much. You, Appreciate it. Made a strike on some figures. Yeah. I spent 55 wow. on two figures. That's a lot. There's a tub there with like some antenna games, but there's no cases. Oh, really? Just yeah. loose ones? Just loose ones. Where are they? Any good ones? Yeah, sometimes they can do well. Good morning. Should be doing this, but here, but here we are. This is the one you got, right? Yeah. Someone's listed it for eight fifty. <laughs> Surely not. Sure it was. Did you just create dinosaurs. that listing, then? Did you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we just found that. Extreme dinosaurs. Yeah, dude. Ninety-seven. How much on? Um, yeah. I'll do it for 40. 440, yeah, that's not too bad. I've sold all my shoes. I'm, t I'm very tempted. I'll yes. keep having a think. Hopefully, someone doesn't get in before me. I know. No, I know. That's very fair. Thank you for that. All right. 40. 40 on the docks. That's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good because I like new. I bet if you said 30, they would be in your backpack right now. They probably would at 30, yeah. Um, they were just a good shoe. Yeah, keep forgetting you're not doing shoes anymore. It's so, oh, does no. it feel weird? It feels so strange because that's all I'm looking at right now. Because you've been, you've been doing this for like four years looking for shoes. Four years looking for shoes and, and now... You're seeing them and then you can't buy them. I can't buy them. You gotta you're going to get back into them soon. I've got to train myself out of them. Unless it was like a pair of docks that are brand new. Like, you'd be silly not to buy those. Yeah, I mean, I've sold them time and time again. Yeah. What about down here? I know this guy. Hey. Hey, have you um, told everyone to shit, like and subscribe? Oh, yeah. Make sure they subscribe to the... <laughs> subscribe to the yeah, channel. Subscribe to the channel. 
and then like it if you're one of the homies. <laughs> you don't have to otherwise. You're subscribed. I am subscribed. Yeah. Flip go, check the, me out. The flip go. <laughs> subscribe to me as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What is that big thing? You gotta suit up if you come to the flea. What's that? You gotta suit up if you come to the flea. Suit up. Yeah. Oh, that is, that is epic. I love the, I love the suit, my man. That's the way it's done. A Pioneer stereo amplifier, A400. Do you know if this works? It, it's, there's something wrong with it. Oh, is there? Um, it's just not flicking over. We live right near the ocean. Right the oh. We have had it fixed You're before. We're just doing like 10 bucks if anyone wants to take it and sort of look at it. Yep. Um, Try and fix it up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We have fixed the same problem before. Right, okay. I'll give it a go. Alright. Yep. It could be a little task for me. Great. We just don't know how to fix it, so it's like... Uh -huh. No stress. There we go, tenor. That's for you, my man. Oh. Well played. Technically, that's your father's. <laughs> I had to buy off him. Well, it's an A400. It's a pioneer. It's what do you? It's a good one. We've just got to get it working. You'll get it to work. You'll get it to work. You reckon? When you click it, it doesn't. Right, hit it with a hammer. Little... Hit it with a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, get it out of where it's been. It'll be... Good contraption, no? It's yeah. Really good. Yep. Beautiful. Out of that one. Absolutely. Oh. Play some Blink-182. Right oh, what's this one? Cambridge Audio. Too modern. Too modern? <laughs> stick with the pioneers, <laughs> hey? Yeah, Alright, I'll take your advice, sir. Well, guys, this could be something special. Unearthed down here at the flea. Do you want to put it in my bag? Oh, definitely not, Kate. You'd have a <laughs> lower back injury, I reckon, if you, if you were to try and put this in your bag. <laughs> I won't even attempt to fix it. It'll just be a parts yeah. play. But for $10, I'm taking into account maybe 20 to ship it, maybe 30 to ship it. So I'd need to sell it for about 80 for parts. I've got no idea what it's worth, but that's the numbers that I'm starting with, about $40 out of pocket. Three dollars. That's so cute. Little all black. Love it. A four hundred, Jamie. Yeah. Any good? I could imagine it probably would be. What have you got? Um, oh, you got jersey. Got a couple. What's the jersey? Stuff. Patriots. It's a bit dirty, but it's a Brady one. Oh, that's nice. But it's good. That's really good. Yep. What size good. is that? Uh, extra large, I think. Oh, and well played. A, um, Saints, I think. Oh yeah. Nice. Drew Brees, I think that is. Yeah, Breeze. Yep. But that's an older one because it's got it's got, the, it's got that tag yeah. on it. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. I think so they it's look 48. Good, they they do. feel good. Yeah, they, they are good. This just needs a nice clean because all the spots on it. But it's a Brady jersey. Yeah. And it's an older Brady jersey too. Well played. And then uh, the camera and the DVD. Oh, Touch it through. You've done really well for a market this small. I actually didn't need to buy anything. Um, I've got um, I've got those '97 Extreme Dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, nice. Do you know this dude? Yeah, he's playing like Doc Oz. Doc Oz. Oh yeah, Spider Man. Is that Spider Man Doc yeah. Oz? I had no idea. He just he looked. He should be good. Cause that's like a good model of it. Well, apparently he goes. Apparently goes for hundred if he's got those four oh, tentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently he's like sixty without. Makes sense. We'll check the numbers a little bit later. Spider Man's always good. Yeah. So, not too bad, really. All things considering, it's pretty damn quiet. I'd still go 119.95. Metal Militia. These are great. They are great. Isn't 40? Yep. Or are they just based on like that? They are really good, and it's a great size. Oh, well, here she is. How you doing? Great to see you. Good, you too, darling. Really good to see you. Um, why am I the only one picking these up? These are Nikes too. I'll take them. Oh, they're only a size small though, aren't they? Maybe that's why. No, like them Militia. These are a size 34, Metal Militia. It's a good brand. 
Maybe Fabsy, I reckon you could go and do a media. Pair of Nike gym shorts. Yeah, I'll just go those. That's. Yeah, that's a great find. Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just yesterday. Oh, that's awesome. Hope you find some stuff. How much? Great to meet you. What are you seeing, Faps? Nothing? What do you reckon, guys? You want to go get some brekkie? You got to say something. You got a mic on. Kate's got a mic on, everybody. Kate's got a mic on, everyone's like, what, hey, who's filming here? <laughs> um, what did you think about this morning's flea market? Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. It was pretty quiet. Only a half allocation. Not the best day we've had. No, but uh, we'll go over there and say hi to Jackson and Andrew and then we'll probably go get some brekkie, I reckon. I think we're pretty much done. Okay, we've just thrown down a big breakfast. Unbelievable. Um, we have four items found today. It wasn't a huge haul, but we got these Metal Militia shorts. Metal Militia, they're a size 34 waist. Um, this brand is really good in clothing. Not that I do a lot of clothing, it is all mainly sport focused. Um, but there it is there, NM, Metal Militia. These things can sell for upwards of maybe 40 to $50. So 40 to 50 bucks and we paid just $4 off Joe. Um, lovely lady, Joe. She's, she's the one we got the, um, Eli or Peyton Manning jersey. We bought a jersey off her that sold in a previous video for $40, we paid 10. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a similar play here with these. We're gonna be four in the maybe 45. So that's awesome. Um, that was actually the, the lowest price of all of these comps. This one was the next one. We got um, Doc Ock, Doc Ock Spider-Man 2, the movie. I haven't, I, I don't, I'm not a Spider-Man guy, bro. I'm not, but I knew that this guy looked fairly vintage and he was 2004. 2004 Doc Ock, and there was a ten dollar price tag on it. So I'm like, well, if that sells for forty or fifty, that'll be profitable. Sure enough, if you've got these tentacles on the back, he goes for upwards of a hundred dollars, maybe eighty to a hundred. But without the tentacles, I think we can get about fifty dollars because he's in otherwise good nick. So fifty dollars off a ten dollar purchase. But what the big buy was in that toy deal was an amazing, an amazing purchase. First of all, because I didn't have my hands on this initially. Oh yeah. He lost his teeth. There we go. We'll maybe glue that on, I think. But there he goes there. That, that, that is complete once that's stuck down. Um, it's actually not complete, sorry, because he's got a, a, some like mechanical arm thing that sticks out here. There are comps on eBay if you've got this mechanical arm of about $700 to $850. Somebody's trying to sell this for $850. Bucks. But we don't have that mechanical arm bit. So he's worth about two to $250. These guys, Extreme Dinosaurs, come after Street Sharks. So it goes Street Sharks edition of toys, and then these guys came into it after that. Um, so this one here, I think we can get about 200 to 250 if it went overseas. They sell really well in America, these vintage toys. It's a 1997 vintage uh, Extreme Dinosaur. I think he's the Mega T-Bone. He's actually the enlarged edition. You can get him in a, a smaller size, and he's not worth as much, but we've got the big guy. Um, so I was happy to pay 50 for him. Um, I'm gonna list him up for 250, and I'm probably gonna accept the best offer at around the 220 mark, so that's bloody epic. Two toys purchased for $55. And then, and then we bought this big thing. So this, this is a Pioneer A400 uh, stereo amplifier. And it wasn't working. She said that it wasn't working, so I am gonna sell this for parts. They were living by the beach, so she reckons it's got a bit, maybe a bit grainy with the, the sand or something, I don't know. Um, but the comps on eBay for this device are anywhere between $280 to $300. A lot of international um, sales as well for this one. There's nothing domestically here in Australia. But because it's a $280 to $300 device, I'm gonna try and sell this up for probably $120, I think, talking to Jamie. About $120, we reckon, for parts and we paid $10 for this thing. So the cheapest thing that we've got is a pair of Metal Militia shorts for $40, a Street Shark that's gonna go for 200 odd, this thing here that's gonna go for 200 odd, and then this thing here that's gonna sell for probably 50. So 90, say 190, 
three ninety. Call it four hundred dollars in value, and we spent what was it four fifty five, say sixty seventy dollars seventy into four hundred four listings down at the flea on a rainy old Sunday morning. First one up, we have Ella Diaries. This is book numbers, well there's 11, but there's actually a double up there of ballet backflip. So there's probably gonna be 10 that will sell, but we'll sell it like this with a double up. Um, we reckon we can get about 50. So not too bad when it is only $8. This is good. So, we've got a Blu-ray player, and you can actually watch the YouTube videos. So if anyone wants to buy this and watch this on this, you can. Subscribe, uh, BD560. I'm just gonna do it. 12. That's pretty good. With the remote as well. BD560. LG. Yep. It sells for 70. You guessed right. You did well. There is another one. Uh, a 660, the model up, that went for 120. So maybe we could list ours up for about 80, but don't discredit the value of these remotes though, because that remote there goes for $30 on its own. So the fact that we've got that too is excellent. Um, but yeah, I think we can list this up for 80. So what's that, 12 into 80 with about $15 worth of shipping. Not a bad little run. All right, we've got season one to seven of the TV show Once Upon a Time here. They are pricing it up for $5 each, but the comps on eBay are surprising. This one here is the tough one to find. It's the complete seventh and final. There's actually only one complete seventh and final listed on eBay at the moment, and they're trying to sell it for 110. So even though this is 35, I think we can list ours up for 100 and make some really, really good profit. Season six is actually sealed as well, which is kind of cool too. Google Home Mini. I don't know how they work. These do all right. You just gotta talk to it. Talk to it. There's all that. Talk to it. Hey Google. <laughs> how much are you worth? <laughs> See what I did there? Got me. <laughs> I'm giggling. <laughs> well, I think we go with the Google Home Mini. Surely. Oh my god. Looks like it's 55. A few things off camera uh, that happened at the checkout there. We found, uh, we also found this. We've got a G-Shock watch. Uh, G-Shock watch, it is the 5750E. So I'm gonna list this up for 99.95. Uh, there's the comp there for $120 for that exact watch. So, you know, if it was $45 and that's what he said was gonna be the asking price, I think that's why it's been there since June. 45 into 100, it's, uh, it's a bit of a Google Nest mini scenario. Um, but now being only a $30 purchase, we should be able to make ourselves about 30 to 40 in profit, which makes the deal worthwhile. Here's one that we wanna find a few more of. Grizzly Adams. This one can do fairly well, but I think as a season two, it probably won't help us. And it, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's any more in this collection. Grizzly Adams season two, eight disc set. Now this is what you want to find. We have Foils War, the complete collection, and it's priced up for $5, $5 Kate. So, I don't know how many seasons that is, but it is a region four as well. It's all taped up, but anyway. 
That's a ripping find. That's crazy. Do you reckon Perry would want this? I, I don't even know they made them. It's a dog pram. City Mini GT, and it's only $30. No, it's a dog pram. Oh. <laughs> I thought Perry might like it. Shoes. I've got. To, oh, I know. I know. I've got to stay away. How you doing? How are you? Really well, thank you. No, we can't do those. I always love this section. Always random bits of electronics. They're just travel cases. But then you've got this. Look at this. Tesla Model 3 Aero Wheel Cap Kit. Surely Tesla would do well. We found a Tesla in the thrift store. I'm going to put that as the title of the video. No, I'm not. Um, that's pretty cool. It's new. It's a wheel cap kit. $25 they want. There we go. 73 for a lot of three. So, a lot of three would say that this is worth about 25. Uh, sorry, 50, so take 25 off. And they're asking 25, so 25 into 50. As cool as it is, we're gonna have to leave it behind. But Tesla in the thrift. We bought the pram. We bought Perry a jogger. Um, no, honestly, this thing actually turned out to be pretty good. It's a, um, it's a City Mini GT baby jogger. So it, is, it isn't a dog pram, like people say that it is. Um, but living here on the Gold Coast, we've got some really nice beaches around here. And I think a baby jogger is going to be a perfect item to sell on Facebook Marketplace. So we're going to list this up for, I think, $100. I reckon we'll go 100 on Facebook, so 70 clean profit. Um, on eBay, they go for about 150. So 150 eBay, 100 on Facebook. That makes sense to me. You'll see here, guys, that we've got a massive difference to our layout in the garage. Um, this is uh, as a result of the shoes that were able to be sold last week for $2,000. It's allowed us to rearrange the space in this garage to allow us to go out and buy even more items. And you've seen a lot of those purchases already being made on the channel. Uh, with garage sales and private picks that we've been able to get out into. A lot of that $2,000 has already been reinvested and we've moved some stuff around which I'm going to show you in a second. But a lot of the relocate was actually getting all of these tubs here which were full of DVDs. We've moved them to where the shoes used to be. So we'll head into the garage and I'll show you that now. I really like the way that it's set up now. It's looking a little bit more, while it is bare bones in the sense of only being half full, it's kind of rearranging into what we want to you know, push on with into the future. So we've got our big video game wall here that is now just ready for more video games to be purchased. We've got so many spare shelves there. Um, we've got all of our group listings that we do for our cheap games. And then we've got some, some rows here of the ones that we're selling off individually. Then you move straight into our DVDs, which I think is a much better setup to have all of our video games and then all of our DVDs, our two biggest selling categories, all in the one space at the back of the room. Um, you'll notice over this side that there isn't anything really over here anymore. All of these tubs from here, here, and ultimately here, because these shoes are on consignment, which are probably going to go back uh, to Jason because we're not able to sell them. Um, there's actually three rows there that we can add new stock into. And then we've got this entire run here of tubs that are all empty. And they're all ready to be filled up with great stock in the categories that we want to sell. More video games and more DVDs. So I really like the layout. We do have a few other items of all of our miscellaneous uh, stock down here, like there's a bunch of action figures down there. We're not really buying too many more of those. This was everything that we bought off Brie. I'm still working through all of this, but the rest of her stock has already been listed. And then I've got this stock here that is the remains of our garage sale from yesterday. Um, you guys have already seen that video. It's been on the channel now for a little bit. 
Um, but that one there has done really well so far with some great sales, which is what we're going to be talking about for the rest of this video is going to be all of our cool sales that we've had come through, um, which is allowing us to go out and buy even more stuff to fill up these tubs. Um, I'll give you a quick look here at the whiteboard as well. Um, really, really cool numbers are coming through. It's amazing. When you buy great stock, you get good sales on eBay. Uh, so we've got $5,840 and it is now Monday. Um, so $642 has been able to come through already today and it's only midday. Um, so we're turning that one into a really good day. But on Saturday, we had $994 come through and then 265 on Sunday. So the last three days have been incredible. We're averaging $432 a day in sales and that puts us $110 a day on average above where we want to be from a numbers perspective. So we're sitting at about $1,400 ahead of schedule. And the reason why is because we've been able to buy so many cool things in our private picks, our garage sales, and then their flea market missions, which we've obviously shown you guys as well. So I want to show you the 19 different sales that we've had come through that are going to go into the mailbag on this Monday um, that have resulted in around about $1,600 to $1,700 worth of sales over just the last three days. And here are the first ones. We've got two video games that have come in at our lowest sale price of $19 a piece. So some real bread and butter games that I've sold so many times before, Ratchet & Clank 3, Up Your Arsenal, and Call of Duty Black Ops on the Xbox 360. Um, they're gonna be going into the medium track post envelopes like we always do, a very, very low starting price. But man, in this what's sold, they get a lot bigger. Sit. Sit. Hey Perry, can you get the next item for us, please? We are looking Sit. for... We're looking for a coffee mug. We're looking for a coffee mug, Perry. What? Found it. Here it is here. We have what looks like a Canon lens, but it's actually a coffee cup. Kind of cool, hey? Very cool. Uh, so this actually came in the camera buyout that we did a couple of weeks ago. Um, they've all pretty much gone on sale. I've moved them since we made the rearranging. I used to have them on the shelf down there, but I've just put it into this tub here and I've only got what's in the bags. There's four bags. We've still got some lenses to try and sell and we've got this boxed camera here as well. All of the other cameras that you can see in the bottom of this tub here, all of them were purchased from a op shop for $50. Um, so very, very cheap. Uh, but the camera buyer had this included in it as a bit of a tossed in item. But uh, I listed it up for 25 bucks and it sold. All right, we've got two more games. Uh, two more games that have come in at $26 for the Transformers game, and then this one here on PlayStation 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, uh, that one sold for $25 as a steelbook. So, a bit like the first two games that I showed you guys, very bread and butter, $25 worth of a sale price, a $6.50 medium track post envelope, uh, four video games that have come through on individual listing sales. We've got a DVD here. This is a six movie collection of Marvel Avengers. So we've got the Avengers, Iron Man, the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America. Believe it or not, I have seen none of those movies. I'm just not into Marvel. You're not either, hey? No, but I think I've at least seen them. I have not watched literally any of those movies, which there's a lot of people that are very disappointed in me, but it's the truth. Um, so this one sold for 26, 28, 28, $28, $28. We're going to put it into a small satchel with a bunch of bubble wrap. Um, yeah, I don't have much more to say about that. We didn't buy it for very much. It was just a few dollars that we found. I think it was out in a thrift store maybe a couple of months ago. So it wasn't a rapid sell through rate. Um, but when you see six movie collection, I think that's a good thing to do some comps on. Uh, and when it sells for around about that $30 price point, um, putting it into a small satchel is not too bad. Now, I have been buying a lot of Pokemon cards lately, and I've got these two right here. We've got the Rockets Trap, Team Rocket, and then we've got also this Giratina. Um, this one was purchased off Bree in the private pick that we did a couple of days ago, and this Rockets Trap was picked up in last week's garage sale where I bought a bunch of vintage Pokemon cards, and those Pokemon cards will still be listed eventually up as a big group lot. 
Um, but this one here was the rare card that came out of that allocation and it was worth $30. And we got a $30 sale price on that card. Uh, this Giratina that we bought off Bree is being done on consignment. Uh, if you watch that video on the channel, um, we're doing all of her Pokemon cards on consignment where we split the profits 50-50. Um, so I'm not gonna make a lot of money. Bree's not gonna make a lot of money off this card, but we've got so many cards to sell uh, that the numbers will bu uh, build up and be worthwhile. Uh, but that one there is gonna be all of my dollars. Uh, the Rockets Trap, a $30 sale price, wasn't bad. We need to like superimpose some wrestling theme tune music over the, <laughs> the clip for these. Um, hopefully you guys, as avid viewers of the channel, uh, remember, I picked these up on a rainy old Sunday morning at the flea market about two weeks ago. Um, we've got two different belts here. Um, this champ belt's pretty sweet. I actually personally like that one a little bit more. Um, this one's a 2005 Jax Pacific, which is a big action figure brand, Jack, uh, Jax Pacific. Um, this though is, a, I believe, a children's size belt because it doesn't quite wrap around me, but it is a, a children's belt um, and we've got two of them. And the comps on eBay were going for some pretty decent money. Now, I bought both of these for $5 at the flea market. I know that wrestling stuff does really, really well. And I actually went ahead and listed these up individually um, just because they were both different styles of belt. Um, and I listed them up both for $35 a piece and they have both sold for $35 a piece to separate buyers, uh, which I think is a really interesting note there to say that these things do really well. Um, there are a lot of people out there looking for them and $2.50 into $35 is excellent. I think what we're going to do, we're having a bit of a chat about this as to how to ship it off. Uh, we're just going to fold them up and we're just going to put a lot of bubble wrap around them and we're actually going to go down the path of putting them into a satchel. Uh, let me know if you guys would go ahead and do that. I don't think with bubble wrap it's going to break them at all. Um, we are going to put a lot of bubble wrap around it just to be sure. I was considering putting them into a box but I think we can get away with the satchel. The next one we're putting into the line, we are doing all of these as you might have picked up from the cheapest all the way up to the most expensive. I didn't touch on that, but you'll see by these price points, they are slowly building. Um, we've got a multi-order sale coming through here from a viewer of the channel. I have a bunch of Simpsons greetings from Springfield um, action figures here. They're all minis, as you can see. Um, this one ended up selling for $25. They all go for generally about $5 to $10 a piece there. Um, I bought them about a year ago, so these are the last of the big collection that we had. I think I actually sold a complete series set of these for about $150. So they go for some wild money, and they were just some leftovers uh, that we did for $25. Uh, this here as well is what Luke has already gone ahead and picked up as well. For $22, it's Futurama Seasons 1 through to 5, um, which makes the total order a $47 order from Luke. Uh, Luke said you can go ahead and do this as one shipment, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of bubble wrap around this, put it into what will probably end up being a medium satchel. Um, but I just did, well, did wanna call out Luke there and just say a big, big thank you. He started his eBay journey two weeks ago and he's already made $1,500 in sales. So 750 bucks a week in sales off your very first two weeks uh, is pretty incredible. He's halfway worth of revenue towards being a top rated seller in just two weeks. He is selling a lot of his personal collection that he was saying, um, which is often a great place to start because you don't need to put out the money uh, to be able to get the sales underway. And then Luke can use that $1,500 to go out and buy more stock, which is gonna make him even more money. So a great start, Luke. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. $47 worth of sales here. Um, can't thank you enough. We've got two PlayStation 1 games coming through next. Now, the story behind these two games is they were bought by separate buyers, just like the wrestling belts. These Crash Bandicoot games are highly sought after on PlayStation 1. And I knew that when I bought this at a flea market a week ago. They only sat in the store for the last week. And I bought a big PlayStation console bundle where it had its bag, all of the controllers, the console, and then it had like five random games. These were two of them. Now, I negotiated down to $70 worth of a purchase price, and both of these games have gone on to sell for $60 each. So we're already out of two of the games, got $120 worth of sales back. And when you take out the shipping and the fees uh, and the postage, it's just gonna work out to around about our money back on these two items. And I've still got the console, three games and a bag to go on to sell. So there's gonna be well over $100 in profit. Nice to see these two games, which were definitely the best two out of the five video games that he had. Uh, I just think vintage consoles and vintage video games like these are a really, really good category to get into on any level of seller. Okay, we have another big book set here. A lot of big items coming up for the rest of this What's Sold. Um, this is sort of the start of it here. We've got a really nice book set that was brand new and sealed. And we actually found this on Courtney's very last thrift trip. 
Uh, the last one that she did, we she actually found this one as well. I think I paid $20 for it from memory. Uh, but being brand new and sealed, the comps look pretty decent. And we ended up getting an $80 sale price uh, this weekend for that. So I think it'll ship for about $12 to $15. You obviously have a $20 purchase price to take care of as well. The fees are going to work out to being about $12. Um, so what's that? $24, 40 We're going to make about $35. $35 in profit off a book set that took no more than three weeks to sell. I don't even know where I got this. We've just got so many consoles and this was just another console sale that we had come through. I don't have any cables for this. I don't have any controllers, no games to bundle it with. I literally just had the uh, number on the back of this one, which was the CECH G02. Um, so I searched up the comps for that and I could tell this was gonna go for about 80 to $100. We got a sale price of 85 bucks. So when it comes to consoles and video games, you can sell them as big, big bundles. Uh, where you've got controllers, cables, console and games, or sometimes you can just sell them for the, the item that they are. You don't need to go ahead and bundle them up at all. Um, so that's what I've gone ahead and done with this, and the sell-through rate on this was just a couple of weeks. So a bit like what I've spoken about previously when we were talking about the Crash Bandicoot games, just this category, I can't recommend it more. We have a sealed board game up next. This one here, Drop Bears. Uh, we ended up getting a $90, $89.95, $90 sale price. Uh, on this one here. This is the last of the big three. Uh, we bought Wasteland or Waste Nights, I should say, and then we also bought the Cyberpunk uh, board game as well. All of these board games were bought in a thrift store. The Cyberpunk sold for $500. Uh, Waste Nights sold for $200, so that's $700. And then this one has come through for $90. So very close to $800 worth of sales. And we bought this in a thrift store about a month ago. Uh, for I think about $250 all up. So $250 into $800. This is the last of it, Drop Bears. It's an Australian board game that is yet to be released. You can only put a pre-order in right now to buy it before Christmas. Uh, but I had a video store, not a video store, a board game store. For some reason, they must have gone under and they cleared out all of their stock and they donated all of their stock. And that was where I was able to go into the thrift store and buy these items. So they've done really well for us. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do the trick where we do the butcher's paper so you hide what the item is. And then we're gonna put a bunch of bubble wrap around it as well. That should ship off for about $12. Uh, we bought this for $30 on its own. So 30 plus 12 is 42. Uh, the fees on 90 is about $14. Um, so what's that, 46 and we sold it. So we're basically doubling our money. So $45 in profit on this board game, I think is excellent. Now I put a video up on this channel uh, of a garage sale, a garage sale where I went and did round two, where I bought even more items off the guy that had the PlayStation 2 sign. Um, this book was one of them. It was a Simpsons Ultimate Guide of Seasons 1 through to 20. It's actually a really nice book. It's a first edition book as well. So you've got all of the different editions of every single episode and they break down all of the statistics around the show and famous quotes and interesting facts. So that is a collector's dream. And I knew it when I saw it. It was at the garage sale for $20. Uh, I listed it up for exactly what the comp said, which was $100. And in the space of just 24 hours of being listed, this thing has gone on to sell for the full asking price of $100. So with an item like this, it is big and bulky. It does have a nice hard slip case on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it into a box, I think. It is really quite heavy. Um, the cost of shipment on this is probably going to be $15, but when you're selling it for $100 and you're buying it for $20, that's just good numbers. This is the next one. We have a bunch of PlayStation 2 games that I sold on a best offer. Uh, so this allocation here came from um, Bree. Uh, Bree is the lady that we did the private pick off. If you guys haven't watched that private pick video, I highly recommend that you watch it because there's a video coming out later on this channel, which is me going back for round two of that private pick because she's just got so much cool stuff that I need to get my hands on it. I need to fill up the shelves that I've got in here with her stock. Um, she's not an eBay seller, she's a Facebook Marketplace seller uh, and a sparingly Facebook Marketplace seller as well. She doesn't really do it too heavily. She just loves to go out and source items. So I'm going to buy it off her and I'm going to sell it on eBay. So this was the cheat games out of all of her video games. I spent about $600 in that video. Um, this here was $105 worth of that money back. Albeit, there is a lot of fees and postage to come out of this $105. Um, but it sold in the space of a day. And you can sell these video games super quick when you get them in allotments like this. 
I would try, if you're gonna be selling them for $3 each on eBay like we are, I would try to buy them for no more than a dollar. If you're getting them for a dollar and selling them for $3, you're basically doubling your money after fees and postage. So we'll put it into a box, nice one to see come through. Now, you guys just watched us buy this. Uh, this was just yesterday at the flea market. The clip that I showed you where we only paid $10 I listed it up for parts, as I mentioned, and we got, uh, I listed it up first of all for $120. Um, that's what I thought it was gonna be worth. And then I had somebody come through and buy it and then instantly cancel it uh, because they didn't see that I'd listed it as a parts only. Um, so I relisted it after cancellation. I actually had to refund the buyer because he went as far as paying for it. Um, and then he said, can you please cancel it, which I did. And so I listed it back up for 120. And then two hours later, yesterday, we had a second person offer 110 and I accepted it. So $10 into $110, I don't care if we could have got a few more for it if we try to fix it up and clean it and get it running again. The thing is worth $280 to $300, um, but I just think getting a quick sale for parts only at $110 is awesome. Um, we're just gonna have to put a lot of bubble wrap into a really sturdy box because it is quite heavy. Um, but these sorts of electronics, even as a part only, they can make you some amazing money. We have our third Pokemon card and we have our second consignment sale for Brie. Uh, this is the Umbrian V number 189 of 203. There it is right there, a super, super rare card. What Brie was doing with her Pokemon cards is she was basically unboxing them, she was ripping the packets open and then putting them into these top loaders or putting them into a sleeve and then putting them into binders uh, straight away. So the edging on this one looks as though it might not potentially be a PSA 10, it could be a PSA 9. Um, there is a bit of a wonkiness to the edging. Um, but this is an immaculate card and it's sold in the space of a day of being listed uh, for $200. So I don't know what the make out of that will be on consignment, but after fees postage comes out of it um, and the GST that I've got to pay as well, um, we'll be able to split the profits on this. And we'll end up both making about $80 each, something like that. It could be a little less than that, um, but I think that's awesome to kick off a really cool consignment deal that I've got going with Brie on these Pokemon cards. I think there's gonna be plenty more to come. This is the next one. A crazy, crazy sale, guys. The story behind this, if you haven't seen the videos recently, all of these items have been filmed. You can see the fine, you can see the fine taking place. RC300 loop station for the guitar. So if you're an avid guitarist, an avid musician, you'll know about this thing. I don't know anything about this thing, but I do know that it works because the dude at the garage sale on Saturday, this is just two days ago, uh, he said that it works and he had a $50 price tag on it and there were comps on eBay going between $400 and about $700. There was one crazy outlier going for about $1,000, but I don't think this is going to sell for that. Um, I listed mine up conservatively for $400 and I got a sale instantly. So maybe I should have gone five to $600 and have it sit around for a week or two. Uh, but to be able to buy this for $50 at a garage sale, it does come with its manual. Um, so we've got the R300, RC300 loop station there on the manual. Um, that'll go together in a box and we went 50 into $400 in the space of 24 hours. It sold almost instantly. Um, never found one of these before, didn't really know what it was, no cables or anything for it, but it is in excellent condition and I think the buyer is going to be very happy. And here it is, the number one sale. We've been able to sell the PlayStation 2 sign. It's going off into the mail today. This one came through over the weekend. Story behind this was it came from a garage sale two weeks or one week ago. Uh, we've been back again. We've bought the RC Loop station uh, yesterday, but this was bought at the same garage sale the week before that. Um, I actually got my hands on this for just $20. Uh, he was clearing out all of his stuff. He went into his house, pulled out a few more items. This was one of them. I was shocked, couldn't believe it. I highly recommend you guys go and watch the video. Um, but I didn't know what to do with it from a pricing sense. Everyone offered about $600, $700 for it. Uh, and I said no, because I thought it might've been worth a little bit more. I put this up for auction for three days during the week and it didn't sell. But then somebody that was watching this item on eBay gave me an offer of $500 instantly after the auction ended and no one had bought it. And I said, no, look, the best that I do is back to those original offers, about 650 bucks. Uh, and then she ended up accepting. So. Yeah, sold instantly straight after the auction ended. Plenty of interest around it. I think 20 into 650 is probably my best ever flip on eBay. Um, it will be a bit of work to make sure we send this off without it breaking. It is LED and it's also backlit as well, so double-sided. Um, so we're gonna have to make sure that we ship this off in really, really good, in a good way. Uh, but yeah, $650, that has gone a long way 
to the $1,500 that we've been able to do over the last three days. So there it all is. It's not like there's, there's not more items than we've usually sold in the past for a Monday morning. Um, there's only 22, I think, items to ship off, but they are all very, very big ticket items. Uh, a lot of really high average sale price. And a lot of them are actually gonna require boxes. So while there's only 22, it's gonna be a really long process to go ahead and ship these all off, which is what I have to go ahead and do now. Um, so we're gonna to have to make sure that we find enough boxes that are not only gonna be sturdy enough, but also big enough that we can put in butcher's paper and bubble wrap as well, so these guys don't get damaged. Um, really, really important part of the process. We had the fun of finding it. We went to the work of trying to uh, get it sold. Now that it has, we need to make sure that we crunch that final step and ship these off correctly, which I think we'll be able to do, but it's just gonna take a little bit of time.